everyone. So this video is going to be of a different flavor than the kind of videos that I usually make. Uh, if you found this video, it's likely you'll encounter something that you weren't expecting because this one is about the Batman and the Joker and how both the Batman arc is an archetype of order and how the Joker is an archetype of chaos. Now, Batman is he who boldly travels forward towards uh, ridding any kind of society that he's in of, of those who take advantage of the weak. Uh, the, the prime example of order. Uh, he who supports the status quo, um, the status quo of law, uh, of, of, the, of the state, and basically the combination of individuals looking to make sure everyone else uh, is, is provided for enough that we are all functional together. Now the Joker, on the other hand, is somebody who cannot be predicted. Uh, his motivations are completely his own. Usually criminals are motivated by wealth, by power, by um, gaining something in the long term or revenge, uh, something that we can conceptualize. But the Joker, the Joker is completely chaotic in his motivations. And this is the most dangerous um, thing we uh, kind of person uh, we can encounter because you can't predict somebody who is completely chaotic in their motivations. Uh, if motivations do not remain constant in our life, then our life is chaos. We constantly act based on um, this this shifting motivation, and anything that we do is based on the motivation of that moment. And if we act based on the motivation of that moment, and continually do so based on a shifting reality, then there is few people in the world that can combat us. The, if we choose to be chaotic in the, in the sense that we harm other people or do things that take advantage of other people, uh, then even that would be a code. But if we even stray from that, <laughs> that's the kind of person a, the Joker is. Um, these archetypes are literal polar opposites, Batman and Joker. They... They cannot see eye to eye, yet, if we look at the entire scale of order and chaos, think of like everybody, not everybody, but most people at this minimum of order and chaos, then we go to the extremes. You know, we have extreme order over here and extreme chaos over here. Uh, this, this circle kind of meets at a certain point, and we see the, we see the extreme nature of an individual. Uh, we see the uh, the intensity of personality, and this this actually exists in the world real world, and this exists within everyone's psyche. Uh, there's this extreme nature in all of us to either side with uh, something that is both compassionate and orderly, or something that is chaotic, and uh, and completely self interested, and sometimes maybe not self interested. That is the the nature of pure chaos. Um, what can we learn from the Batman and the Joker? We can learn that basically to analyze ourselves and that who we are is just as flexible as these archetypes. Uh, ideology plays a big role in us as, us as individuals, us as uh, sentient human beings. Ideology plays the role of, of, of guiding light, a guiding star, and to have a certain direction for ideology is to be an average person, but to have a guiding star, a single one that you never f take your focus off, off of, like Batman, continually focused on punishing uh, criminals and uh, stopping crime and uh, maintaining order. He never takes his eyes off that star. That is willpower. That is willpower manifest. But also, the Joker is willpower manifest because he never take his, takes his eye off of the shifting of chaos. Uh, imagine chaos as this ball that has a whole bunch of different streams kind of converging at different places. And whatever that moment dictates, whatever um, this, uh, this shifting kind of motivation dictates, that is what he's going to do. But somehow, uh, beings like the Joker, uh, individuals, I guess you could say, uh, like the Joker, um, they, they do direct all their actions in a general direction. And it is to take apart the orderly side of all of us, to take apart what we think we understand as society and show us that uh, society is on shaky legs, is only held up by 
very thin strings ready to snap at any moment. And they seek to show us that because they want to convert us to that. And they want us to realize society is not uh, the bedrock uh, of us as individuals. And, you know, there's something to be learned there. Uh, we we must be individuals that are not f not just completely consumed by a desire to fall into place in society, but to be uh, the kind of person that seeks who we truly are. And that's the, the usefulness of chaos. That is the one usefulness of somebody like the Joker and his chaos. Um, truly finding who um, who walks this path that we imagine we are. Um, when it comes down to it, when it comes down to judging a person based on what they do in life, um, you have to look at what they do to other people. If somebody is so devoted to chaos and introducing that into society that they completely neglect the individual and are willing to step on anybody that uh, comes into their path in order to show society, teach society this lesson, then that person is not necessarily chaotic, but... Um, self-interested, and these are two different things. The Joker is more is more chaotic than so self-interested. But if somebody is willing to step on everybody all the time, then that is self-interest. Um, Batman he has motivations in relation to order, like I said, and he is he basically personifies that order, and that's why these two forces are so so dynamic in the comics and in the movies and in uh, just and books themselves, um, the Joker and Batman represent two polar opposites that somehow meet on the battlefield. And even, they do meet on the battlefield in real life as well. They're not called the Joker and Batman sometimes. They are uh, very extreme forces of, of, you know, humanity and compassion and chaos and self-interest or, or destructiveness. Um, so we can find these archetypes in the, in the, the world that we live in, and we we can try to understand, um, you know, those people that actually exist through understanding archetypes like Batman and the Joker. But I hope this video has been partially interesting. It's been kind of a rant on the Batman and Joker, and uh, I do not deny that it is anything else. But um, thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you thought this video was interesting at all, hit that thumbs up down there. If you want to continue this conversation or disagree with me or agree with me, feel free to shoot it down in the comment section below, and I will see you in the future. Who are you mostly? Order or chaos?